The Buzz, Australia's only live, interactive social media program on free-to-air TV, is proudly brought to you by Zetagrid, Australia's award-winning provider of on-demand IT infrastructure for businesses that want reliability, speed and flexibility. Tonight, beautifulpeople.com, the Catholic Church are very, very angry, and Pauline Hansen's back on the scene. We've also got the very worst song, that your worst song, the worst video clip you're ever going to see in your life. But before we go any further, let's say hello to Paul Cook. Hello. Oh, this is where I speak. Yes, go, oh, go. What uh, do you want well, to say? Uh, nothing, I've got nothing. But hello. You got nothing? Like, well, nothing I'm not yet. I'm working up to it. So. All right. Well, I'll, you have a think mm. about it. We'll go mm. across to Candy. Candy, uh, did you want to say anything to our viewers? Um, yeah, can I say hello to one particular viewer? Um, my nana, I believe, is watching tonight. Hi, nana. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> she probably doesn't know what we're talking about, but I love an you eight. anyway, nan. <laughs> You're giving her nana an eight? Yeah, no, I'm giving Candace an eight for her efforts with that introduction. With her nana? Oh, yeah. really? oh good, thank See? heavens. I thought okay. you'd gone nuts. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'm anyway, sure nana's lovely, Candace. I'm not she's lovely. She's nana. great, you'd love her. C can I do the show? Oh, come nah. on. Please, yeah. at some stage. Uh, the Catholic Church, they're not very happy. Why? Take a look at what Aussie Might has done to offend them. I'm outraged. Well, it, it is reasonably poor taste, though, you must admit. Why? Well, because why would you do it that way? Couldn't they have... You're dipping a cracker in the Aussie mode. It's delicious. Well, that's right. But it's not really a cracker, though, is it? Sacrilicious. It's, it's a... A transubstantiation. That's right. Absolutely. Thank you very much. It is the literal body of Christ uh, in a wafer. In a wafer. Uh, a wafer-sized Christ. Dunked it some, <laughs> into some Aussie mite. So they've, they've literally got Jesus Christ and popped him in some Aussie mind. Which I'm sure, look, Jesus, I'm sure, has a sense of humour and just thinks it's quite and funny. And it's probably but, quite good for your skin. But at the same time, uh, probably, you know, they could have gone about it another way, maybe. No. It wasn't quite so. No, because Why? what they've achieved here what? is exactly what they were shooting for. What? They couldn't afford to pop up on every show with a good advertisement yeah. and, you know, to be on 7, 9 yeah. and 10 and all the others... Now they have, and they're not paying for it. Aussie might is Dick Smith, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, so with the same with our controversial boat people running off the exploding boat for mm. a barbecue or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, we think he's just, you know, the master of marketing here and he's cleaned up. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what it is. Okay. Yep. So is I think a, we can leave okay? it well enough alone because yeah. we know exactly what's going on we, here. We've just now helped him, haven't we? We have. Oh, we did. You're we helped welcome, him. Dick Smith. You're Ridiculous. welcome. I'm sure Ridiculous. you don't need any more money. We, we're but you're crazy. doing well, mate. And... We shouldn't have done that. Anyway, Pauline Hansen is back on the scene. I love Pauline. And as oh, yeah, far as yeah, Pauline yeah. is concerned, she is the only redhead that you can trust. Oh, is she? Yeah, apparently. Um, why do people care that Pauline... Isn't she back, like, every two weeks? No, but this is her seventh attempt to get into Parliament. Exactly. Why are we caring? Well, because she's got a reputation for saying things that... Perhaps a lot of other people don't necessarily agree with. Well, they did. They, John Howard said them after Pauline Hanson. We voted John Howard in, and then we love everything Pauline Hanson said pretty much since. No, not everyone. Well, not everyone, but certainly it seems the majority. Anyway, she's back, and uh, she's got a damn good chance of actually getting elected this time around, which is going to displease a lot of people, especially those... I reckon those... she'll unify the loonies. I, I believe she's going for the Senate in New South Wales, so thank goodness... She probably won't have much of an opportunity to, you know, have much of an influence in the lower house, but she could well block a few things in the upper house. But, but if there are enough loonies in New South Wales, and given their big population, it is pretty possible, uh, yeah. we, she could well get in. But have we seen anything about her platform? I mean, is there anything different now than what she was saying The 15, message is essentially ago? the same. It's, you know, she's not a big fan of people just... who weren't born here. Yeah. 
Uh, it's okay. actually, I, I don't know, I find it a little bit scary anyway, but so far as she makes the comment, the only redhead you can trust, is that having a go at Julia? Is that what she's doing? Absolutely. <laughs> like it's having a go at redheads in general. <laughs> if I was a redhead, I'd be offended by that. I would be offended as well. All right, uh, that's enough of that. Okay, so let's count two things that we didn't need to give publicity to. Which, which, which we did. Yeah. We're so sorry to, to the right-thinking people out there. Move very, very right sorry. Along. Candy. Yo. Tell me about Grumpy Cat. Yeah, rounding out the, the third thing that probably doesn't need any more publicity is uh, the internet is a buzz, forgive the pun, about tartar sauce, also known as grumpy cat. The cat that just cannot seem to change his grumpy countenance or expression no matter what he does. And he's meme-tastic. He absolutely lends himself to, to memes perfectly and has gone viral as one of the most recognised, certainly one of the most recognised cats on the internet. But now he could be immortalised in feature film. Tartar Sauce, who we know as Grumpy Cat, could soon be given a voice and a personality and a, an on-screen adventure. But I'm wondering, is it going to make him less relevant and funny? They're just going to make him into Garfield, aren't they? And oh, that's awful. I guess you've got to cash in while you can, really. Well, I mean, it's not going to last forever. Get no. in, make a movie, make a bit of money. Cat will die. But we've seen it before. Garfield. Yeah. It's been done. Yeah, mm. Mm. yeah, but Garfield wasn't entirely uber grumpy. I think this cat could really be... Grumpy. Grumpy, grumpy, mm. grumpy. I know, cat. I think it'll yeah, yeah. lose some of the magic. I think mm. it'll lose some of the grumpy, grump cat magic that we all know and love. Speaking of magic and things that are unusual, uh, social media is once again being blamed for political unrest, this time in Turkey. What started out as a little protest with a couple of people protesting the, the building of a shopping mall and mosque in Istanbul has now turned into a 40,000 people plus protest against the Prime Minister and a lot of authoritarian figures in Turkey. Uh, the government is blaming not only the political opposition but also social media for the political unrest and has been accused of deactivating social media and, and disrupting access to social media in certain parts of Istanbul uh, in, in a bid to curb the unrest. Uh, you know, is curbing people's freedom of speech the way to go about this kind of thing? Oh, I don't know. I'm getting really angry about this one. And, you know, forget the violence, forget people being set on fire. I'm angry that they're decommissioning Twitter. Well, just because you have a, an affair with Twitter and Twitter's going to come home grumpy going, Don't you just decommission me, Jason, and you said nothing! That's true. <laughs> I wonder, though, this is being seen as the continuation of the Arab Spring. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. social media needs to be blocked. I wonder, has this got anything to do with maybe just social unrest in general in Europe? Let's More talk so about that, that a little bit later on in the show. Mm. Candy, you've also got a um, something that I really don't want to put to air because it reminds me of Nickelback. Look, I find Twitter to be a really useful, great medium. Instagram, not really so much, but it has been immortalised in song and, of course, to the tune of Nickelback. Take a look. Look at this Instagram. It's been an inside of him. Started out as a lemon tart. Then my phone went and made it art. And these are my fingernails. The beauty. Drinking my ties on a cruise Just a coincidence, it's also boobs Everyone look at my... Yep. You love it. it. Done? You can't get enough of it. I hate Nickelback. Sorry. Uh, but that is funny, though. It, mm. I, like, I like the bit about boobs. Couldn't they have picked a different song to put it to? Maybe, but that, maybe that's what yeah. makes Irony, it. The song's called Photograph. Absolutely. Oh, Photograph. Oh. Mm. Ah. Yeah. They could have used <laughs> Def Leppard's ah. Photograph. She is but, so uh, switched on, that girl. Like yeah, that. yeah, absolutely. Um, crikey. You, you bag her out, but... Yeah. I did not. I, he wouldn't dare. I don't believe oh. a word anybody <laughs> says about her. She's lovely. <laughs> right, um, Crikey is a website... That you like? Uh, well, it's a website I want to bring to your attention, Jason, because after a day of looking at news sites, and I know you're a bit of a news groupie, mm. and you can go to news.com and Perth Now, WA Today, and all these various news sites. Of course, I would read WA Today as a preference to anything else, as it's part of the Fairfax network. Yeah, getting a wee, <laughs> uh, we love you, Fairfax. Um, but. You may go to these sites and find yourself... It's the same sort of thing getting churned over and mm, over again, mm. uh, coming from the same pool of writers, mm. the same press gallery. Crikey.com is a little different. It's been around for about five or six years now. It was started independently, uh, started by a bunch of people who wanted to do something differently, wanted to primarily work in the online area. 
if you go there and have a look, they tend to have, for my mind anyway, a bit more balanced oh. opinion, something that's not quite a sensationalist, which is nice to read. I'm more interested quite often in facts of a story as opposed to the fact that, you know, all the you know, Prime Minister had her underpants on her head, that's disgusting. Is it a good look for the PM? No, the question is she had it on to raise money for prostate cancer. But you tend to be a little bit left-leaning in your oh, politics. Oh, well, no, I'm an anarchist. Don't really? forget that, yeah. Really? Absolutely. An anarchist? I'm an anarchist. Scary. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> but right, anyway, so crikey.com.au is worth going to. I think as part of the Is a subscription mix, site, though? No, it's not. Oh. As part of it, there may be some subscription parts to it, and mm. it may go that way. I think mm. eventually they mm. all will. Uh, but in the main, no. I think it's worth going to, though, uh, as part of your news mix. I wouldn't say get all your news from it yeah, or yeah. use it as a primary source. But I think... For people who work uh, in the media or for people who want good information. Some good cartoons on there as well. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, crikey.com.au. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, yeah. All right, back to you, Candy. Um, you've got uh, something about selfies. Now you take we... selfies? <laughs> Well, no, I don't really need to. I, I see myself in the mirror plenty and oh. you guys see me plenty, so no. there's no real need for that, is there? <laughs> but apparently a lot of people do so much so that we now have... Instagram stereotypes and selfie stereotypes. One particular news site has compiled five of the most common Instagram stereotypes among males, with it, whereas another news site has now expanded on that to create a list of 13. Now, we're, we're looking at things like, you know, the gym junkies giving us tickets to the gun show and, and guys who just cannot help but show off their big boys' toys. Maybe you'd like to tweet us in, uh, hashtag the buzz, and let us know which stereotypes you've seen. And maybe the ladies have noticed a few as well. It's one to keep an eye on. These days, rather than switching to TV or radio, a lot of people, when in times of breaking news, will hit Twitter because it is such an immediate, immediate such, such a brief medium. Um, but it, it appears that Twitter is looking to formalise its relationship with some of the world's biggest media companies through a project called Twitter Amplify. Now, we don't have too many details at this stage, but it could be that it's gearing up to revolutionise the news cycle. It is something that a lot of journalists and news outlets use and a, lot of, and a way that a lot of people are turning to information. Do you think Twitter could expand on its services in this way? Oh, look, absolutely. I think Twitter is a, a news-gathering source. Um, a place where they find the kernels of good ideas to then go and investigate. Well, we've had this discussion before. Twitter is great. Getting the news first, absolutely brilliant. It's if only we could get that verification a bit quicker. So the accuracy. Could, yeah, 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 yeah. If we can, if we can find out sooner how accurate this story is, mm. it's going to be unbeatable. I actually think that a lot of the websites that we deal with now, like WA Today and those sorts of sites, are actually going to end up being subscription only, paywall with long-form journalism, where they've gone and done some really serious investigations and they yeah. write quite a lengthy article. Because the headlines will be on social media. That's right, yeah. 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 Yep. Absolutely. That's what we think, Candice. Mm, well, we might get our news in a snap. And speaking of snap, there was a viral video that uh, did the rounds about a year ago promoting central tape. Well, for some reason, it's trending again. And here it is, if you need to look again. Anyway, here at the Central Institute of Technology, everything is at your fingertips. It's a snap. It's close to public transport. Getting around is a breeze. Here at Central, business students get a world-class education. There's even a practical mind shot! Snap! <clears throat> oh, so this is where they do the, the fashion and um, textiles. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> don't panic. Don't panic, Aaron. Oh, jeez. Aaron, I just don't want to go. Um, snap. Snap in the hospital. You can do it. Snap. The Buzz, Australia's only live, interactive social media program on free-to-air TV, is proudly brought to you by Zetagrid, Australia's award-winning provider of on-demand IT infrastructure for businesses that want reliability, speed and flexibility.